Just when we think Kyle Busch's season can't get any worse, he has another disastrous weekend. The number eight driver can't catch a break this season. Throughout the year, RCR has not been able to give him a car that can take the fight to the leaders. And the last race in New Hampshire was one of his worst. It looked like he had just given up on the season and the team. After the race, he refused to talk to the media and just walked away. Throughout the weekend in New Hampshire, Bush and RCR were on the back foot. They were unable to unlock pace in the car to fight at the front. He only managed to qualify 30th for the race. The next day, things just got worse and worse. During the race, Bush crashed his car multiple times. One of the most notable times was when he did it by drifting into Noah Gregson and causing a caution that changed everyone's strategies. And then finally, Bush crashed his number eight car into the wall while going slow under a caution. Yeah, you heard that right. Kyle Bush lost control of his car while under a caution. This was perhaps the worst race of his entire career in the Cup Series. And whether or not things get better or worse for Bush, NASCAR Off Track will be here to report on it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Before the race in New Hampshire, Bush showed some positivity on the team's developments. Been working hard and doing the best we can with what we've got. It's a tough business we're part of. We're in a performance-based business, and you know to be able to go out and get the performance that we need is a hard thing to do. There are a hundred thousand things that need to go your way to achieve success. I don't think about the pressure about the bubble and try to go out there and perform on Sunday. I just try to go out there and push myself and the car and everything as hard as I can to get the most out of myself and it to get the best possible finish we can get. Despite his troubles this year, Bush is still looking to put them behind and start aiming to get into victory lane. This season, he's been having some trouble with the nature of the next-gen cars. He addressed this issue before the race as well. It's been easy for me to get in trouble because of the nature of the car, the way it rides, the bumps and the different topography of the track at each end to make grip. It's definitely a challenge of moving your line around in the corners to improve the balance of the car because this new car doesn't like different angles and transitions very well. He was hoping to have a positive Sunday to climb up the order and finish in the top 10, but he faced nothing but disappointment as mentioned earlier. After the race, all the drivers are required to speak to the media and answer questions about the race. But this time, Bush just walked away. Over the season, Bush's body language has slowly changed and has indicated that he is through with the team's inability to provide a strong car. Bush is currently 39 years old. These are probably the final years of his prime. Hence, he will want a car in which he can win races and win the championship. But RCR is clearly not that team at the moment. They were once a formidable force in NASCAR, but not today. Just last week, he was asked about the possibility to drive for HMS or JGR in the near future. To this, Bush replied, I would say anything is possible always. Certainly that, if I was welcome at JGR, I would go back. If Hendrick welcomed me, I would go back. That's not to say he isn't committed to his current team, Bush added. But right now I'm at RCR with my group of guys and the deal that we have in place, so we're trying to build this program and make RCR great again. At the moment, JGR has a seat available as Martin Truex Jr. is retiring from racing full-time in the Cup Series. So there is a possibility that Bush could go there next year. However, his contract with RCR extends till the end of 2025. So unless Bush can find an exit clause in the contract, he will not be able to leave the team. But even if he is able to, JGR might not want to take him as they have already shown interest in signing Chase Briscoe. During the press conference in New Hampshire, one of JGR's drivers, Christopher Bell, leaked that Chase will be joining the team next year. So right now, Bush will have to stick with RCR. His only option at the moment is to help the team improve their performance and start winning again. Just a few days back, his crew chief, Randall Burnett, said that Bush is part of RCR's future. I feel like he's a big part of the future of RCR, obviously. We spend a lot of time together. We talk about a lot of things. He's very involved with the team and with the guys here at the shop. He, Bush, rode back to the airport with us after our struggles at Iowa. He rode to the airport with us, recalled Burnett. And we all sat in there, myself, my engineers, my car chiefs, and him. And we all talked about it on the way back to the airport. 
after the other night about how we're going to do better. While they might have spoken about it in Iowa, things seem to have only gotten worse in New Hampshire. There's no doubt that RCR and Bush are struggling with the next-gen cars. And it's not just RCR, it's Bush as well. Over the years, Kyle Busch has gotten used to a certain driving style. But in this new era of NASCAR, the nature of the cars has completely changed. This has forced the drivers to adjust their driving style accordingly. While most have been able to make this adjustment, Kyle has not. A few more weeks back in Martinsville, Kyle Busch had a bad weekend after which he went on to blame the next-gen cars and described what the problem was in detail. The problem starts at the front of the car, the splitter and the way the air is, and everything that we all do on setup stuff to make these things rely on the air as much as they do. That's a problem. I think they went about it, and that's a funny way to say it, backwards. We don't blow the tires off enough. I think that's what we're all kind of talking about. We need these things to be faster going into the corner, utilizing the brakes more, utilizing the tires more, having an opportunity to overdrive the cars more to burn the tires up, and see guys struggle more over a run. For me anyway, maybe it's just because we don't have it quite figured out like the others do, but I cannot follow anybody in front of me whatsoever. It doesn't matter if I'm in the bottom lane, the middle lane, or the top lane. If there's a car in front of me, I'm terrible, really bad. I will say the only positive to it is that you can slide the back of the car around a little bit more and not crash. But the front ends are just ungodly, not working. When asked what he would suggest NASCAR do to fix the issue at hand, he said, It doesn't matter because they're not going to do it, so it don't matter. I'm not going to paint myself in a bad spot to get in trouble. It seems clear that Bush has no hope that NASCAR will fix this problem. He continued to blame the next-gen cars after his car got wrecked in the last race in Iowa. I don't know what happened, but next-gen parts and pieces broke. So something in the left rear suspension, I don't know if it was a tow link or whatever. The next-gen cars were designed to increase the amount of downforce generated at high speeds. In doing so, the cars have become more aerodynamically sensitive. This makes the cars more vulnerable to dirty air from the car in front. Dirty air makes the car more difficult to control. This is the main problem Bush and RCR are having. Increasing the downforce of the cars allows the drivers to attack corners at high speeds. This helps the cars be more suitable for street races such as the one in Chicago. And given that NASCAR is looking to increase the number of street races on the calendar, they might not undo the change they made. So now, Bush will have to find a way to work around this problem. The only question is, will he be able to do so before the end of the regular season? After New Hampshire, there are only eight more races left on the calendar. So RCR and Bush will have to come up with a solution ASAP. It will be interesting to see what Bush and RCR do in the coming races. Do you think Bush will be able to qualify for the playoffs this season? Post your thoughts in the comment section below.